It's Halloween, a night of ghouls, ghosts, and vampire bats. Yes, these little bloodsuckers are real, and today we're going to find out how they actually drink blood from other creatures, and maybe even us humans. Before you start thinking about Dracula with wings, let's clear a few things up. Vampire bats don't turn into handsome caped men, sorry Edward Cullen fans, and they don't just bite down on necks like a late night snack. There are only three species of bats in the world that actually drink blood, and they're all found in Latin America. Now, the human biting variety is the common vampire bat, and yes, it lives up to the name. But there's a lot more to their dining etiquette than you'd think. They don't swoop in all wild and crazy like Ozzy Osbourne biting off a bat's head. No, 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 no! You can do it, Ozzy! Bite his freaking head off! No! I mean, that would be messy. No, vampire bats are pretty chill about it. They use stealth and precision. They sneak up, make a small incision with their razor-sharp teeth, and then lap up the blood with their tongues like they're at a fine dining restaurant. Vampire bats are like nighttime ninjas. They sneak up on their prey, whether it's a sleeping cow, a chicken, or on rare occasions, a human. First, they use heat sensors on their noses to locate the best blood vessel. Imagine if you could see veins like veins on a treasure map. Think of it as their own personal GPS, except it's the gory positioning system. Once they're locked on, they make a quick, tiny incision. And no, they don't have straws. They actually just lap up the blood with their tongues, more like a cat with a saucer of milk. Classy, right? So, how often do they bite humans? Not too often. They'd much prefer animals. But every so often, if they're in a pinch, they might go for a human snoozing under the stars. If you ever wake up with a tiny, mysterious cut, maybe it was just a friendly neighborhood vampire bat. At least they don't have the showmanship of our friend Ozzy. Just imagine. Instead of biting heads off, they sip elegantly, like they're at a Halloween cocktail party. So vampire bats may sound creepy, but they're actually facet little critters. They even share blood with each other when one hasn't had a good feed. It's like them saying, Hey Bob, missed out last night? Here's a little extra blood for you. Now that's friendship. So next time you think of vampires, remember, there's a real bloodsucker out there. But it's only about the size of a small potato. No need to grab the garlic and crosses just yet. Happy Halloween, everyone. Remember to like, subscribe, and keep an eye on your blood vessels tonight. And hey, maybe don't sleep under the stars if you're in vampire bat territory.